The Equestria Inquirer is brought to you this week by Derby Hooves and her fabulous treasure of wonder. Good evening, Ponyville. Tonight, we are covering the Equestria Games tryout. Lots to cover tonight, so let's get right to it. I am Mason Cat, and this is the Equestria Inquirer, Equestria Games Edition! Doesn't it seem like it's been a while since you've seen Derpy wandering around town? Well, that's because she's been away on a wondrous voyage of adventure in search of the legendary treasure of the Sea Pony Queen. And now that she's found it, She's spreading her ill-gotten wealth like nobody's business. And among her frivolous purchases was a sizable grant to the Equestria Inquirer. Which means they'll never need money again. Wait, what? Then what'll happen to these sponsor bids? Oh, really? The sponsor money is never actually paid for the show. Huh. So, I do still have a job here, or... Okay, cool. Uh, I should clarify what I said before about money. We need it now more than ever, and we'll continue to count on the community for support. Looking at you, Barnyard Bargains. Top story tonight, and the only real story worth talking about is the Equestria Games tryouts. Ponies and all manner of intelligent creatures are trying out for what is to be one of the greatest events in pony history. This week we will be covering the tryout stories from Rainbow Falls, where most of the aerial event qualifications are taking place. Among the competitors this year from Ponyville are the Element of Loyalty, Rainbow Dash, the Element of Kindness, Fluttershy, and... and... And, well, never mind. It's not important. What is important is that they were able to qualify in the 500 meter aerial relay after what seemed like impossible odds. Taking a huge risk by pairing up with two of the weakest flyers in all of Equestria, Rainbow Dash was able to pull off a come from behind finish that would make new academy records if the Wonderbolts Academy were actually in charge of the qualifying events. Got a few non-literal black sheep in the family? Maybe a literal one? Are there one or two members of that family that you don't want the others to find out about? Are you a direct descendant of Hoofler to do totally unlike me? <laughs> well, you need Whoopsie Daisy Strategic Smudgery. She can make any less than flattering names on your family tree into an elegant, illegible smudge of ink forever. Never again will you fall victim to the pestilence of School Falls' Yo Great Grandma jokes, at least none that can be proven with official documents. Isn't that right, Whoopsie Daisy? That's right, Nameless Announcer! The facts about your family are all overrated and deserve to be ruined. RUINED! Don't delay, destroy history today! A lot has happened this past week at Rainbow Falls. It has come to the judge's attention that some of the competitors may have in fact been partaking in the use of banned performance enhancement products. What are these products you might ask? Why none other than muffins. Yes, muffins. These illegal baked goods have been known to cause a certain bubble cutie marked pony to almost double her speed if she knows that there are muffins at the finish line. This has left many in the athletic community stunned and shocked, seeing as a mare with no prior training could outdo many of them because of this popular bait good. And yes, before you say anything, Derpy Hooves has been banned 
for compete from competing because of the use of this banned bait good. Speaking of some other ponies who have been banned from the Equestria Games for swapping out the Olympic doves for burning ducks are Starlet Flame and Breezy Mist. Thanks, Mason. This is Breezy Mist coming to you this week with a sports report. I'm reporting here from Rainbow Falls, where I've been investigating some of the hot sky-high sporting events. These events will determine who qualifies for the Equestria Games, so every pony's very excited about the results. I've been investigating the chances of success city by city. The clear ponies to beat are Cloudsdale, since they have the most Pegasi in one city, and are the hometown of the Wonderbolts, who are known for their great speed and agility. Cloudsdale, however, was not the only one to qualify in flying sports. The representatives from the Griffin Kingdom got very high marks in a lot of air events, so they could be some serious competition for Cloudsdale. Ponyville managed to qualify a few times, barely scra scraping by in the relay, but doing quite well in many of the other events. Unfortunately, Canterlot, Manhattan, and Appaloosa didn't manage to qualify at all. They had trouble getting together teams, as Canterlot has mostly unicorns, and Manhattan and Appaloosa have mainly earth ponies. Better luck next time, guys. I look forward to seeing how the qualified teams do in the games. All right, everybody, we got one big pad slaps. One, two, surprise! Yeah! Start. What in question are you doing in that pad? Oh, it's a really great place to nap. Surrounded by the tantalizing aroma of apples and cinnamon, snuggled in a blanket of flaky, buttery pastry. Plus, uh, you know, ovens are really comfy. I forgot you was one of the Empire Pegasi. Anyway, a star, could you please get out of the pie? Only if we go leprechaun hunting in pink frilly dresses with parasols and pickaxes. Say what now? I'm gonna go leprechaun hunting in a pink frilly dress with a parasol and a pickaxe. Sing it with me! I'm gonna go leprechaun hunting in a pink frilly dress with a parasol and a pickaxe. Uh, just... Back away slow, like AJ. Just back away. Okay, now run! I gotta get some money from Arkoff! <coughs> uh, sorry about that, Phillies and Gentle Colts. I just can't risk some pony taking over my segment again. Anyways, uh, where's the teleprompter? Uh, uh, got it! Retailers all over Equestria have been informed of a civilian mandated recall of GPSs, Granny Positioning Systems. The mass recall has been triggered by the recent Apple Family Trek that nearly ended in the tragic loss of all of Ponyville's Apple Family relatives. Upon attempting to return Granny Smith at the local bit buy, the sales pony behind the counter refused to take Granny Smith in due to the fact that she was never purchased anywhere. Other retailers are trying to convince every pony that no, their relatives are not defective, but that this is just a normal side effect of old age. Wait, what? This flashy thingy on my screen. Uh oh, breaking news! Ooh, that had to hurt. Um, breaking news? We all know about Soren's injury. Ha <laughs> ha, speaking of Soren, I beat him in a pie-eating contest once. I hope that had nothing to do with the fact that they were my sriracha ghost pepper pies. Uh, anyways, we had just been informed that Derpy, while returning home from being Rainbow Dash's substitute in the qualifying round of the Equestria Games, tripped over a... and fell into the Everfree Forest on top of Zakora's house. So far, Nurse Redheart has confirmed that Derpy is currently in the hospital for the sixth time this week, but Zakora appears to be fine. Upon interviewing the zebra herbalist, our unreliable sources have reported that Zakora does not intend to sue Derpy or the company that manufactures the <laughs> Other casualties include a burning duck, who is currently on a ventilator. No further word on the duck's condition. Back to you, Mason. <coughs> Thank you, ladies. The Wonderbolts are known for being the top flyers in all of Equestria, but recently their recruiting tactics have come under fire for taking away the advantages of the competing teams by faking injuries and promising the best flyers of those other teams a place on their team. This has left many extremely upset. Ponyville almost lost their team captain Rainbow Dash because of this unfair recruiting tactic. There is nothing illegal about this tactic, said a local official. As long as the members that they are recruiting have ties to Cloudsdale, there is nothing we can do to stop this from happening. Luckily for Ponyville, this tactic backfired on the Wonderbolts. 
Though the Wonderbolts were able to qualify without any issues, this has left many to question the integrity of this unit as a whole. Looks like they could use some lessons from Applejack. We will keep you posted on any new word from the Equestria Games as we get it. Thank you for watching the Equestria Inquirer. Good night and good buck.